Namaste. Whenever you are traveling to North Indian religious places like Kashi, Prayag or Ayodhya etc., people feel a kind of insecurity like uh, regarding the knowledge of the places and the local transport, the food, the condition and how is the weather conditions and many more factors. Even though the visitors do a lot of research and get the expert advice from their known ones, their friends, their relatives who had earlier visited, it contains lots of gaps. Like you can come back unsatisfied as you missed seeing some important places which you wanted to do or you lost your health due to some improper food or you couldn't accomplish what you wanted to, what you intended to do. So it is advised to go with a local uh, tour organizer who can take care of your uh, all the above problems or many more. I am Dr. Sudhindra Kumar. I am a founder of VTSK Solutions and I help elegant tours in their marketing activities. So we propose you a state of the art traveling package to Kashi and North India. Uh, it's a trip which includes AC accommodation and travel for 10 days and it costs 34,000 only. Elegant Tours presents Kashi North India Special Tour Package from April 10th to April 19th of 2022 specially designed for elderly couples. In today's world, we don't have time to take our parents to Kashi. The ultimate pilgrim tour of Bharat. Our tour is specially pocket friendly designed and Guides will help the pilgrims in all aspects, so you can uh, send your parents without worry. The pilgrim fare is 34,000 only. It includes airfare, AC accommodation, South Indian food and all travel by ACs. So you have to do a booking amount of 15,000 rupees only which has to be paid on or before 10th March 2022. On the first day, that is on 10th April, uh, we are starting from Bangalore to Lucknow, assembling at the Bangalore International Airport by 4 a.m. in the early morning and reaching Lucknow by 9.15 a.m. After breakfast, we are starting journey to Naimisha Ranya by the local AC bus. And we have local sightseeing at Vyasagaddi, Tirumala Temple, Satyanarayana Temple, Lalita Devi Shakti Peetha, Gomati River, Rudra Kunda, and then we will rest in the hotel. On 11th April, after breakfast, we will travel to Ayodhya, en route visiting Hanuman Temple in Lucknow, and then halt in Ayodhya. On third day, which is 12th April, Morning, we will have Sarayu River Darshan, then Sri Rama Janma Bhumi, New Temple Construction Workshop Visiting, uh, Sri Rama Pattabhisheka Place, and Dasharatha Mahal, Hanuman Ghadi, and uh, the local travel by auto has to be paid by individual separately. Next, we will proceed towards Allahabad Prayagraj, and then we will rest at Allahabad Prayagraj. Fourth day, 13th April, we will have morning breakfast, then travel in boat to Triveni Sangam where Ganga, Yamuna and Saraswati joins and then we will take holy bath in the Sangam and then we will give time for rituals and then time for Veni Dana rituals, it is available and then we will do Hanuman Darshan, then lunch, then travel to Chitrakuta and stay in the night at Chitrakuta. On 5th day, that is 14th April, after breakfast, we will travel to Anusuya Atri Ashrama. Then we will go to Spatika Shila, then Ramghat, then Mandakini, Kamatgiri, Gupta Godavari, and we will travel to Gupta Godavari by foot in the water for a long time. And then Sita Rama Darshana, and then we will go to Hanuman Dhara. It's a special waterfalls on the peak and Hanuman temple. It is said that Hanuman set off the fire on his tail which was ignited by Lord Ravana in Sri Lanka. 
on 6th day 15th april we will have breakfast and after that we will travel to kashi en route vindhyachala vindhyavasini it's a shakti peetha temple and then we will go to yoga maya and that's the place where devi told about the existence of shri krishna and then we will go to brahat hanuman sita mata temple and then we will rest in kashi seventh day which is on 16th april we will have breakfast then have holy bath in ganga then we will do all the 64 ghats of varanasi river view by boat and then darshan of lord vishwanatha which is a jyotirlinga and then parvati devi annapurna devi and have mahaprasada lunch then in auto we will travel to sankat mochan hanuman temple durga mata temple tulsi manasa mandir kavade vai temple shri kala bhairava darshana and then in the evening to see the spectacular ganga aarati we will be traveling by boat and then back to hotel and rest on the 8th day that is 17th april in the brahmi mohorta there is bhasma aarati which happens at 2 am and this is a special darshana for which we have to take a special darshana ticket later after breakfast we have we will travel to gaya and then visiting buddha gaya the place where siddhartha got enlightened to buddha and uh, a notice for that special bhasma aarati uh, you will have to take the ticket by yourself and then we will halt there in the gaya at night 9th day 18th april we will have time for rituals for pitrakarya and pinda pradana and then we will be visiting vishnupada temple phalguni river darshan vatavriksha mangala gauri shakti peetha darshanam next we will travel by auto to the 80 feet buddha statue and other temples then we will be back to shri kshetra kashi and then we will rest in kashi the 10th day which is 19th april after breakfast we will be visiting saranath mandir and then to the buddha statue then we will be traveling to lal bahadur airport and we will be traveling to bangalore reaching bangalore at 4:30 pm with the sweet memories important instructions to travel visitors this includes airfare ac accommodation on twin sharing basis south indian vegetarian breakfast lunch and dinner with coffee or tea the advance amount of 15000 is not refundable neither exchanged the boat charges auto fare special darshan charges or extra as applicable which will be around approximate of 2500 to 3000 rupees all other pujas or rituals etc done at actual cost to be paid by the individuals only you need to bring your id cards like your aadhar pan or the vaccination of covid certificate etc which is necessarily needed for your travel you need to bring your medicines and other personal requirements as required for your basic necessities for your basic hygiene a new steel plate and tumbler will be given for your food requirements and you need not bring the same along with you then our upcoming trips are to muktinath char dham yatra and you can look into those trips also and enroll for the same the pilgrimage fare for this travel is rupees 34000 only and it includes both the sites air fare ac accommodation south indian food and all the local travels by ac buses the booking amount for this is rupees 15000 only which has to be paid on or before 10th march 2022 the contact details for booking to this travel is mr manoj s of elegant tours his normal and the whatsapp mobile number is 903 5805575 or alternatively you can contact dr sudhindra 
three five four.